How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another Champions League team of the tournament. That is uh, the Spaniard striker from Juventus, Alvaro Morata. It's good to see that he has got another special card in foot. Uh, rejuvenated his career a bit, you could say. It's nice to uh, see him doing well again. Of course, had a horrid time at Chelsea. Uh, missed a consistent amount of good chances and just, I mean, overall got slaughtered by Chelsea fans. Fair enough. Uh, but I'm sure Chelsea fans don't care anymore because they're, you know, fighting for the title. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, anyways, it's good to see him uh, doing well again. So he's uh, got himself a discard special card, which again, you can't really go wrong. It looks like a good budget striker. Uh, gets that strong link to the uh, league player. Uh, I think Gerard De La Feu. So. Uh, there's a lot to offer from this card. Uh, again, I'll emphasize because, uh, again, it seems like nobody or a lot of people still don't understand the concept of these team the group stage cards, even though they've been in FIFA for uh, who knows how long. Six years, maybe? So uh, I'll explain again. These cards do not get upgraded. They're permanent upgrades, and there is absolutely no potential for these cards to get upgraded. So... Please consider that when purchasing these cards and not as an investment because they just there's they're just not getting upgraded. So uh, we'll get into the stats. Uh, the pace, there's a bit of a big split on the pace. 78 uh, acceleration, 87 sprint speed. Obviously, the speed's pretty good. Acceleration's a bit low. I'd boost it with a chemistry style. He still feels fairly quick, especially considering he is six foot three. So he's more of like a, a hold up, a stronger, more aerial ability uh, striker. But uh, yeah, Hunter would probably do to, you know, boost up the pat the pace and the shooting stats. And, you know, he still feels fairly quick. Uh, you know, his mobility isn't uh, too bad. Um, in terms of his shooting, 88 attack positioning, uh, which, you know, you can, you can definitely feel, especially inside the area. He makes good movements, especially offers himself uh, off crosses and, you know, really good at just finding these tiny pockets of space. Now, in terms of his runs, though, I'd say they're quite poor. I think that's just with every player at the moment with the patch. Uh, it seems like the AI intelligence uh, is just really bad. Unless you control your runs, your player runs, you know, uh, there's that new feature this year. Uh, you, you might struggle, so I don't know uh, what that's about, but uh, that, that seems to be a very frustrating aspect. Uh, 86 finishing and 81 composure. Uh, he's a good goal scorer, uh, not consistent. Uh, doesn't have that killer instinct, but, uh, you know, still capable of being good inside the area. Uh, but you do have to keep in mind, he won't score every chance he gets. Uh, 83 shot power is pretty good. 83 volleys as well. Uh, his passing is good for a striker. So, you know, he can link play together with the 81 short passing and 79 fission. Then on the ball, maybe your main con here is going to be the 74 agility and 65 balance. He does feel quite clunky and you're not going to be wanting to dribble with him too much. Uh, but, you know, he has, I mean, otherwise pretty decent stats 85 ball control 85 dribbling and 82 reactions so uh you know he'll be able to handle the ball fairly quick uh fairly well uh even with the lack of skill moves uh you know he'll just be able to operate in these uh you know tiny these tight areas i guess you could say to create chances on his own and then the physical stats uh probably my favorite thing about this card is his ability inside or in the air you know he's very good off crosses uh, and aerial duels, he'll win a lot of them. Uh, he's got the 87 jumping and 92 heading accuracy. A great, great aerial threat. And then the 80 stamina and 83 strength. So, it's a very good striker. I mean, you know what you're going to be getting from this card. You know, a good aerial threat, a uh, decent finisher, relatively decent on the ball. You know, turns a bit heavy, and then a relatively decent pace. I mean, it's a really well-rounded uh, attacking card. Uh, good links, and then, you know, obviously... Uh, a good budget player so you know i, I think he's a, definitely a decent option for your Serie A team so that's going to be my marata review please like subscribe comment down below who'd like to see next and thank you for watching